hello and welcome everyone once again in the last tutorial we have coded for the delete button which deletes the file name from the j list and in this tutorial we are going to code for the send button that will send the uh, mail actual mail with the attachments from the j list to the valid recipient on java on gmail so let's begin with coding for the button right click the button go to events action and action performed uh, the button name is j2 and the event is action performed so i have already made a try and catch block for writing the code but before this try and catch block we have to type in some default um, code for the properties class so you just have to type in here this i have already written it to save the time and it says uh, you have to create a object of the property class and you have to set this by setting using the put method so you have to type uh, first type a prop that is object name dot put main dot smtp dot host comma smtp dot gmail dot com semicolon then properties dot put that is prop dot put main dot smtp socket factory dot port comma 465 that is the port number for gmail and in the next line you have to type input mail dot smtp socket factory dot class you have to set the class java dot java x dot net dot ssl dot ssl socket factory then you have to type in prop dot put in inverted commas mail dot smtp dot auth that is authentication is true and in last line you have to write prop dot put mail dot smtp dot port and the port number is 465 once you have written this, all you have to type is you have to create object of the session class that is also present in the Java main API. So just copy and paste, or oh sorry, just type in the text that I have written here. That is the session class. Object of the session class is equal to session dot get default instance, and it takes argument as props that is the object of the property class comma new Java mail authenticator that that is used for authentication purpose and open a curly brace and type in protected password authentication space get password authentication method and again open curly brace and type in your new sorry written new password authentication and in the bra in the brackets round brackets type in sender underscore mail dot get text method and password underscore sender dot get text method so what these are these are the names of the text field that we have created earlier this is the sender email and it takes it takes the matter written in here using the get text method and similarly for the password it takes the password underscore sender dot get text so the sender dot get text and the password underscore sender will take the no, username and the password of the sender here okay then just close the first curly brace the second curly brace and a round bracket and terminate it with a semicolon with this done now we are ready to code for the button so inside the try and catch block start with creating a each statement you have to check a condition here type in attachment underscore path one dot attachment dot underscore part one is a string that we have created if you remember and you have to call a method is empty that is if there is no entry in, uh, no name in the string that is it is empty then what you have to do is code for you have to create a object of the message class message object name is message is equal to new m i m e my message okay and it takes the name of the session class object of the session class uh, you have to just if you are getting a message you have to import a class here that is java x dot mail dot message and the another class is java.mail.internet.myMessage ok 
to if you are impo if you are imported those classes you will not get a error here then you have to create a object of the multi part class so type in here multi part multi part object is equal to new my multi part okay this again is so just type alt plus enter and import the java x dot mil dot multi part same for here you have to import java dot mil dot internet dot my multi part where is gone now with this done you have to type in next line object of the message class that is message dot set subject method set subject method will take the subject we have created a text field for subject and we have named it as subject so i just type in subject dot get text it will take the subject from the subject text field that we have created this is the subject text field okay mm, then what you have to do is you have to create another body part using the my body part class say message body part 1 equals to new my body part you have to import like is java x dot mail dot internet dot mind body part where is gone so with this object you have to type message body part 1 dot set text okay is equal to uh, here it takes a message that we want to type so i have named it as a message area so i'll just type in message underscore area message underscore area dot get text since it is a text area that we have made and i'll show you that this is the text area and we are going to type in here the text and the name is message underscore area so it will set the message for us and now what you have to do is call the object multi part this one here and we have to add this message we will call the method add body part and it defaultly takes the object of the mind body part so the message is attached to the message body is attached to the object multi part okay again now you have to send the uh, name of the recipient so call the object message and add a message set from here it is call this method set from and in here type new internet address bracket sender underscore email dot get text method and terminate it with a semicolon so it is showing here just resolve it using the in sorry add import for java x dot mail dot internet dot internet address and it is gone and next line it will here it is taking the address of the send email that we will type for sending the email and then you just type message dot call the method set recipient okay not recipient but recipients and in your message dot recipient type dot to dot to uh, instead of add this adrs what is default you have to replace it with internet address dot rc 
and in here type receiver or receiver dot get text and now what receiver dot get text is this is the textual name that we have receiver underscore email okay it's email so i just replace it with underscore email okay now the error is gone in the next line type message dot set message dot set contained multi part then you have to call a class transport dot the method is send and it will just do this it will send the message okay but before and you need to show an acknowledgement that the message is sent create a g option pane that is dialog box g option pane dot show sorry show message dialog type here null message sent message sent so what this will do is it will if uh, there is no attachment in the uh, j text or sorry j list then it will send a simple message with a text simple text message to the sender uh, sorry to the receiver to the multiple recipients from a single sender but if you have attached some attachments that is if the attachment dot attachment underscore path one is string is not empty then what you, you have to do is you have to create a else block and in this else block uh, we will send the mail with attachments and uh, without uh, if the text uh, attachment underscore path one is empty then it will simply send a message without any attachments but if there are attachments then what it will do is you just go ahead and copy all this okay. just copy it and paste it in the else block yeah the matter is same but now we are going to add some changes to it okay uh, just copy and paste it and then uh, what you have to do is after this message multi part dot add body part message body part one create a for loop and create a new integer i set it equal to zero comma i is less than a1 that is array1 list array1 dot call the method size size comma i plus plus this will check if this this for loop will continue till the number of uh, object uh, elements present in the array list that is a, depending on the size of the array list a1 which takes the absolute path and create a what you say uh, open a curly brace and type here keep it same message dot set from internet address this keep this same and uh, message dot set recipients and let it be same 